Hi friends, welcome to World. In this video, we are going to discuss CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity. Configure router interfaces. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you are watching our channel first time or if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. And also, if you like to get more technical contents, you can visit our website. Now, back to our uh, pack tracer activity. Here we can see our addressing table with the devices, its interface, and its IP address. Here we can see IPv4 and IPv6 address. Then uh, it's a default gateway. Coming to the objectives, in part 1, we will configure IPv4 addressing and uh, verify connectivity. In part 2, we will configure IPv6 addressing and uh, finally we will verify the connectivity. Here is the background. Routers R1 and R2 each have two LANs. Your task is to configure the appropriate addressing on each device and verify connectivity between uh, the LANs. They given a note here. The user exit password is Cisco. The privileged exit password is class. So coming to our topology, here we can see our networks. Here we can see R1 and the two networks. Then coming to R2, here also we can see uh, two networks connected to this router R2. So uh, each router R1 and R2 uh, have two LANs. Here we can see a dual stack server configured with IPv4 and IPv6. Now we will go to instructions. In part 1, configure IPv4 addressing and verify connectivity. Uh, step 1, assign IPv4 addresses to R1 and LAN devices. Referring to the addressing table, configure IP addressing for R1 LAN interfaces. PC1 and PC2. The serial interface has already configured. Okay, uh, here uh, this uh, serial interface uh, that is serial uh, 0 slash 0 slash 0 is already configured and we have to configure uh, these two interfaces that is a uh, gigabit Ethernet uh, 0 slash 0 and uh, 0 slash 1. Also, we have to configure these devices uh, PC1 and PC2. We can do that. We will uh, go to our addressing table, and here we can see uh, its uh, interfaces: gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1. Also, we can see its IP address with the prefix. We will go to R1, and we will configure these interfaces. Coming to CLI, password is uh, Cisco. Enable password is class. Configure terminal. First of all, we will go to the interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and we will configure its IP address. We will copy this IP address. And here we can see the prefix, it's a slash 25. Okay. Coming to R1, we will paste its IP address. Then we have to give its uh, subnet to mask. It's slash 25. So its subnet to mask is. 255.255.255.128 Now we have to bring this interface up using this command no shutdown. Now we will configure the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Uh, here we can see its IP address. We will copy that. Also we can see its uh, prefix. Okay, coming to R1. We will exit from gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and we will go to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Okay, then we will set its IP address. It's here. Then it's a something to mask. 128. We will give a no shutdown command. Now we will close this R1 uh, CLI and uh, coming to our topology here we can see the link between uh, R1 SW1 and R1 SW2 is up. 
now we will configure uh, our devices pc1 and uh, pc2 as per our addressing table we'll go to pc1 desktop ip configuration and coming to our addressing table here we can see uh, the ip address of pc1 we'll copy its ip address Then it's a certain to mask. It's a here we can see prefix given slash 25. We have to edit this uh, certain to mask 255.128. Also, we have to set its a default gateway 20.1. Okay, it's correct. Now we will close PC1 and we will go to PC2 desktop ip configuration then we will copy its ip address from its addressing table then it's a something to mask 255.128 then it's a default gateway okay right We configured uh, devices PC1 and uh, PC2 uh, with its IP address, submit to mask, and uh, its a default gateway as per our addressing table. Now we will verify connectivity. PC1 and PC2 should be able to ping each other and the dual stack server. We will verify that. Uh, we will go to PC1, then we will ping to PC2. First, we will get the IP address of PC2. We will copy its IP address. Then coming to PC1, command prompt, ping to that address, PC2, and we are waiting for the replies. Here we can see it's working. We will uh, ping from this PC1 uh, to this uh, dual stack server using this IPv4 address. Okay, uh, we will give the ping command. Ping to uh, 64 dot hundred dot one dot ten. Here we can see that IPv4 address. Then we will press enter. Yes, it's working. Close this PC one. And coming to the next instruction. Part 2 Configure IPv6 addressing and verify connectivity. Step 1 Assign IPv6 addresses to R2 and LAN devices. Referring to the addressing table, configure IP addressing for R2 LAN interfaces, PC3 and PC4. The serial interface is already configured. Now we are going to configure uh, the interfaces in this router R2. Uh, that is uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Then we have to configure this PC3 and PC4. And the serial interface that is a serial uh, 0 slash 0 slash 1 is already configured. To our addressing table. Here we can see uh, R2 interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and its uh, IPv6 address. We will copy this IPv6 address. And also here we can see it's a link local address. It's a FE80 double colon 2. Okay. So we will go to R2 CLI. Password is Cisco. Enable. Password is class. Configure terminal. First of all, we will go to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Then we will set IPv6 address. Here is that. Already we copied. Also, we will set IPv6 address FE80 double colon 2 as a link local. Then we will bring this interface up using no shutdown command. Now we will get the IPv6 address of this interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. We will copy its IPv6 address. Then coming to R2, we will exit from this uh, interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. 
then we will go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 then we will set its ipv6 address it's here also we will set its link local address okay then no shutdown command now we will close this uh, r2 cli and here we can see pc3 ipv6 address so we will copy that and here we can see its prefix also here we can see its default gateway coming to pc3 desktop ip configuration and here we can see ipv6 configuration here is ipv6 address then its uh, prefix slash 64 then coming to ipv6 gateway it's fe80 double colon 2 now we will get the ipv6 address of pc4 it's here we'll copy that here we can see its prefix slash 64 and it's a default gateway now coming to pc4 desktop ip configuration here we can see ipv6 address then its prefix then coming to uh, ipv6 gateway it's a fe80 double colon 2 we configured these two interfaces then a pc3 and a pc4 now we will verify the connectivity PC3 and PC4 should be able to ping each other and the dual stack server. Okay, we will get the IPv6 address of PC4 so that we can ping from PC3. Coming to PC3, command prompt. Here we will ping to PC4. And here we get the replace. Now we will ping to this is a dual stack server using its ipv6 address so we will give a ping 2001 colon db8 colon 100 colon 1 double colon a here we can verify that 2001 colon db8 colon 100 colon 1 double colon a now we will press enter and here we can see uh, we get the replies. Okay, in this video we discussed uh, CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity, configure router interfaces. Now, dear friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below. Also, if you like our video, give a thumb and share with all your friends. And also, don't forget to visit our website. Stay tuned, and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.